Sure. Thank you very much again for allowing me to speak on Mask India uh, movement. Uh, up to 8th or 9th of March, the WHO uh, and the regulators did not have an idea whether the mask was necessary or not to prevent the spread of this uh, epidemic. But then it became very clear that it is necessary. And these are some of my photographs. Uh, I think because of short of time, let us keep them. And uh, when I operated this child having both eyes, hypermature cataract during the uh, epidemic phase, and when this child was constantly wearing this mask, I, you know, it struck in my mind that I should study the mask. What really is a mask, and what should be the mask? So then I realized that maskology in itself is a subject, and in China and in Korea, uh, you can do a diploma in maskology in polytechnics. And uh, because there are more than 700 to 800 types of masks specific to various professions, uh, as well as the theatrical mask, uh, which we know uh, very well, uh, you know, this is the theatrical mask. Uh, so this also falls under the maskology. And the prosthetic mask, you know, this uh, poor lady having lost the nose and the uh, eyes, uh, looks so good. So the maskology in itself is a big subject. Uh, uh, real concern about the medical masking. So uh, this is the probability of contagion. Let us say this patient is a COVID carrier and uh, is shredding the viruses. So if he is shredding the viruses and you are within the distance of about three feet from him, when he sneezes, his sneeze would go almost three and a half to four feet. And you are not having masks, so you are going to get infected. If you are wearing the mask, uh, the probability of you getting infected are still high because you are very near. And if he is wearing the mask, uh, the probability is slightly less because his uh, sneeze will be muffled by his mask and the contagion would not spread as much as in case of free fall. So you are slightly uh, at lesser risk. But if he has a mask and you also has a mask and you are within a small distance of two feet or three feet, then because you both have masks, the probability of having contagion is less. If he has a mask, you have a mask and the distance is 1.5 meter or more, then it's even lower. And then uh, if you keep washing your hands very frequently to remove the virus from your hand, then the chances of you getting infected are much less. And this is the importance of social distancing. You know, your infected patient can immediately affect you. And this virus, as I said, is having a single positive RNA, which is very long, 30,000 nucleotides in a single genome. So it is very, very infectious. And it doesn't have very high chance of mutation. Compared to this, SARS-CoV-1 in 2002 had eight segments. And uh, the total eight segment uh, nucleotides are half of this. So because of those eight segments, although the mortality was very high, infect infectiousness was not this high. And because of constant mutation, the virus died in itself without medication, without anything, with just by the measures in about a year and a half. But this is a different virus, and uh, from what I have studied its genome, it seems that this is not going to die at least till the end of 2021. So we, are, we have to live with it for one and a half years. So we really have to learn to live with it. And uh, I don't know how much time we'll have or when we'll be able to come out and when the lockdown will be lifted. So they, for the medical categories, there are six types of masks, which are known as N95, N99, N100, then R95, R99, and R100, then P95, P99, and P100. Now, what are these? So N95, in this, uh, uh, 95 means that when you are inhaling, the particle load which is coming in the air will be filtered at an efficiency of 95%. So you still have 5% of the particle load going into your lungs. And N means it doesn't protect you. There is no protection from the fat or from the oil. 
99 means it will filter 99 percent, but it doesn't protect you from oil. And 100 percent means not a single virus will be able to pass, but uh, it doesn't protect you from oil. So N is no protection from oil. 95, 99, and 100 is the respective figure which shows how much it blocks. Now R is the figure in this category, which means this is resistant to oil. This is resistant to oil. This is resistant to oil. And uh, 95, 99, and 100 uh, are the figure again like the same. P means P, uh, P means it is completely protective, protecting. That means the fat molecules cannot pass through. Not only virus, but the fat molecules also. Now this is very important consideration when you are considering our colleagues who are dealing with fat. Especially the orthopedic surgeons who are drilling holes in the bones and uh, in that process they are shredding the bone marrow and bone marrow having so much high fat. It causes the fat aerosol as well as the virus aerosol and uh, uh, the other other branch is probably uh, neurosurgeons and the other branch is probably uh, the dentists because they have power drills and they, and they make huge amount of aerosols and uh, these surgeons even with N95 masks uh, will not be protected from the fat globules passing through those masks. You can study this further on the Muscology website. And uh, you can also study this paper at your uh, leisure on aerosol science and uh, technology which describes everything so very well. And you really, every surgeon, every dentist, every GP has to understand this very well. Because once lockdown opens, the GPs will be the first point of contact for the patients to come. Slightest uh, irritation in the throat, cough, uh, mild fever, they will feel that this is a common cold, they will go to the GP. So general practitioners are the first point of contact, physicians are the first point of contact and the orthopedic surgeons, the neurosurgeons and the dentists have very high infectivity because of the aerosol which they generate by drilling. And for next one and a half year, uh, I don't think the ICMR is going to allow for a, for a COVID screening for every patient. Theoretically now we are in a stage where we should be allowed, privately allowed or publicly allowed to test for COVID-19 for every patient undergoing surgery like we do for HIV, like we do for SBS AG. Because the chances of you getting the infection by this virus is so high, so high. There is no way a surgeon can escape if he opens up an abdomen uh, of a patient who is having uremia. And these masks, you know, most of the surgeons are wearing this kind of cloth mask, single layer cloth mask. This is just the false sense of security. It's just a show. It's just a showpiece. It really doesn't work at all. And especially in most of the government hospitals and most of the charitable hospitals, they provide you or they provide us the Khadi mask. Now look at the khadi, you just look at the sun from that khadi and you realize that the holes between those uh, waft and views are so big that you you can use it, even if you use it as a, as a filter for filtering tea, uh, it will not work good filter for filtering tea. There will be tea particles going into your, your uh, tea through this. So these khadi masks and uh, these simple cotton cloth masks are useless, completely useless and doesn't give you any protection and very high chance of you getting infected. And these kind of clothes which the people are now wearing, this doesn't work at all except that it baffles or buffers the sneeze so that instead of that sneeze aerosol traveling to a distance of 2 meter or 6 feet, it will travel to about 2 feet or 3 feet. So it just you know, dampens the force, but it does not filter the virions because the virion is only 160 nanometer, whereas the holes in this uh, cloth are more than few microns. So easily the virus would pass. So this is completely useless. It's just a false sense of security. Uh, just giving you a little longer social distance. And as I said, ortho, neuro, dentist, and yes, ENT surgeons doing the mustoid surgeries or doing any kind of drill surgeries. 
are at a very high risk because uh, aerosol is generated in the entire staff, not only surgeon, anesthetist, the assisting nurse, non-circulating nurse. Everybody gets infected. And if it is a HIPAA filter OT, what happens is that the HIPAA filter OT is taking the air in, here, creating a positive pressure on the operating table. And after that operation table air goes down, that air passes horizontally and there are duct and uh, because of the positive pressure if there is slightest gap between the door and the floor that air will pass into the passage and from that passage there is a continuous pass aap agar khade rahenge passage mein ot ke positive pressure ot ke passage ke baju mein aur passage mano ki non ac hai ot ac to aapki thandi hawa ki lehar aati feel hogi wahan se you know uh, so, wo jo lehar aati hai, that means that that air is leaking from the OT into the passages and then into the entire hospital. So, the aerosol which you have generated from a COVID positive patient, which you do not know that is a COVID positive patient, is circulating all over. Now, see, this is the surgical cloth marks. You can douse the fire at a one and a half feet distance. Even this big flame dies instantly. So now if I cough or if I sneeze or if the patient sneeze and if I'm breathing uh, through this mask, this is not going to protect me. Even the surgical mask, the most of the cheap surgical masks which we get at a 5 rupees or 6 rupees, they are not capable enough to hold the air. It is instantly, I'll increase the flame and it dies. It's So, so you just do this test, take a candle or take a lighter and if your mask of your hospital is allowing you to blow that candle at one and a half feet, throw it away. Don't use that. Don't be under a false sense of security, otherwise you will get infected someday. And this is the light microscope, simple one and a half or two X magnification, sorry, 12 X magnification and you can see that the surgical mask has so much porosity, the cheap surgical mask. There are two kinds. One is available for 5-6 rupees, one is available for 20-25 rupees. This is 20 to 25 rupees uh, costing mask. This is 5-6 rupees costing mask and this is so much of porosity. Even this has porosity but this is completely useless. There is no point using this. This is useful only for the Ghantiwala uh, or <clears throat> those who are working in the cotton jeans uh, or those who are working uh, as construction worker, जो रंग करते हैं कांच पेपर से दीवाल को घसते हैं लापी को साफ करने के लिए ये मास जो है वो उन लोगों के बना हुआ है अपने लिए नहीं बना हुआ and uh, the cost of N95 mask from a reputed company like 3M or certified company goes anywhere from 200 to 500 rupees and n 100 mass mostly is not available if it is available it goes uh, anything above 500 to 600 rupees so we have an excellent uh, research facility here in bhavnagar which is known as central salt and marine chemicals research institute a huge central government institute with more than about 500 scientists working in it and uh, this is a very nice central government institute who are expert on reverse osmosis, they are expert on nanofiltration membrane, they are expert on ultrafiltration. They have the membranes which can allow only H2O, only C2O and only oxygen to pass, curtailing everything else. They would not even allow the ions to pass. If it is sodium hydroxide, it's much bigger than the water molecules. So sodium hydroxide, sodium bicarbonate, the calcium carbonate, calcium oxalate will not pass. And that is how we achieve the reverse osmosis. We get pure water without the salt. Uh, this is the filtration characteristic of nanofiltration membrane. So then uh, I requested and we teamed up with uh, uh, under the able guidance of the director of Central Salt, Dr. Kanan Srivastava. Uh, Dr. V.K. Shahi, who is PhD in the nanomembranes and uh, Dr. Ankur Boyle, who is also a PhD in the nanomembrane. And we, we developed a mask which would be excellent N100 uh, mask. 
and uh, we made more than 15,000 masks after uh, having the first batch validated. This is being distributed to all the police and all the uh, healthcare workers as well as all the sweepers of the Bhavnagar Municipal Corporation from this prestigious institute. He is very kind to donate more than 15,000 masks in the public. So this mask uh, is uh, you know, made up of an uh, arrow membrane and a medicated cloth. Now this cloth is containing some sort of copper, something like copper sulfate, not exactly copper sulfate, something like that, which has an antibacterial, antiviral property so that the viruses whichever come on the outer surface, they die there. Or viruses which you shed on the inner surface, they die there. And between the two layers, there is a uh, RO membrane which is filtering everything except the vapor of H2O, the pure oxygen and pure carbon dioxide. And uh, this is a very simple design uh, and just with a single silai, without any metal clip, uh, this can be made. And uh, this is the side view of the folded. You just have to do it like a roti fold and then give one, uh, one seam here and the mask is ready. And uh, this, as I said, is the antibacterial and antiviral cloth. Uh, and this is also antibacterial and antiviral cloth. And this is the uh, nanomembrane, which does not allow. And uh, this is just to give you an idea that if you want to make a mask like this, uh, you can take a screenshot. And uh, four visiting cards uh, is the width. And one visiting card is the height. And here is the, you can take a second screenshot here. And this is the exact measurement. So you can make a template and then ask your Darzi to cut it like this. And uh, this rubber has to be seven inch in total length. So this is three and a half inch so that it will snugly fit your ear without you know, tightening your ear too much. So seven inch of uh, soft rubber. And you can make it from RO membrane which, which you can get at around 600 rupees. So you open up one RO membrane and you can get uh, about 30, 40 masks made uh, out of this. So blue mass and of course the central salt is uh, working uh, with some of the industries uh, but uh, till the industries and lockdown does not open we will not be able to produce it commercially so till that time you can make uh, from our membrane yourself. Uh, blue mass advantages are that it is N100 so no virus can pass through it is safer and much better than N95 or N99. And uh, it can be impregnated with dilute povidone iodine or uh, uh, that is betadine or chlorhexidine. And it can be washed for at least 500 times in washing machine in hot water also because it is, it is something which is designed to stay in the water for its whole, whole life. Um, uh, and there is no metal nose clip so it can be irradiated in micro oven for any number of times and it is very cost effective because it is only 40 rupees versus 400 rupees for N100 mask and it can be reused at least 500 times so the per use cost is as low as 8 paisa so suppose if you have a staff of say 10 and you use N100 mask for your OT, for your OT staff to dispose it twice a day that means you are spending 8000 rupees every day for just for the mask and that also becomes an environmental hazard because the mask which the surgeons discard if they are not sterilized properly and if uh, that during the handling can spread the COVID further. Now look at this mask uh, which is not having any metal clip but it's so tight that the air doesn't leak anywhere and the, and the candle doesn't go even if I bring it as close to my face as one inch it does not die. So this is a very good mask which we have uh, designed and it can be microwave ovened. So you can microwave it for one minute uh, as many times as you wish and in one minute all the microorganisms will pop like a popcorn. They will, all the bacterial cells you have a full effort. Uh, then this study uh, which we discussed about in the previous lecture by Alex uh, Chin. Uh, now this categorically mentions that COVID virus survives on which surface for how long? And uh, this has been the tabulated form. This we need to discuss at length here. On paper and tissue, it survives only for three hours. The reason being that this virus ha has some kind of antigenicity or some kind of uh, you know deadly thing with the cellulose. 
So the paper is made from cellulose fibers and the, the tissue paper has a bleach in it to make it whiter and it also has some dye, the colored tissue paper has some dye. So eventually uh, these three factors are killing the virus in three hours. Copper kills the virus in four hours because copper ions uh, uh, interfere with uh, the capsid of the vi virus and it kills. So in these days, it is much better to drink copper water in a copper glass uh, kept, kept before six hours or seven hours overnight. Now cardboard, on cardboard, the virus dies in 24 hours, again because of the cellulose and again because of the certain chemicals which are there. On wood, also it dies in 24 hours. On cotton cloth, it dies in 24 hours. But on stainless steel, it can stay for two to three days. And one American study recently says on stainless steel, it can stay for, stay for seven days. On polypropylene plastic, three days, glass, four days, paper money for four days. Now, paper money really is not paper money. It is a plastic money because all the fibers are not cellulose fibers, but they are actually synthetic fibers. And all the modern currencies of the modern uh, generation, they were real plastic notes. They are not real paper. And on the outside of surgical masks, they they remain alive for seven days. Now, the reason for this is that all the surgical masks are made from the microfibers and these microfibers are made from polypropylene, some kind of plastic. So this plastic has a very high electrostatic charge. So it attracts the virus and then it holds the virus there. winter, uh, with the combs, the same way on this synthetic surgical, synthetic plastic made surgical mask, they stick there. And in case of paper, there is a desiccation because the paper will absorb water from the virus and it, it will desiccate the virus. But the surgical mask, which is made from these fibrils, uh, which are made of polyester, there is no water absorption. So if the humidity of the room is 40-45%, 40, 40, the virus has enough water to survive for seven days. Paper desiccates the virus, the surgical mask does not desiccate the virus. This is the reason why it stays very long. So after I studied this uh, phenomenal study into the depth, uh, we came up with an uh, idea and uh, in fact not me but my uh, sister came up with an idea. As I said, this uh, tissue desiccates the uh, virus and bleach residue kills the virus because there's always some amount of sodium hypochlorite for whitening. And the colored cotton cloth also desiccates and uh, cellulose has an interference and the dye which is used in denim jeans and in this uh, can help killing the virus within 24 hours. Uh, so in USA also now the US government has already recommended for the denim mask and uh, US companies have started making denim masks rather than uh, using those disposable polyester masks and increasing the solid uh, waste uh, management load. So we started experimenting with various clothes and then my sister, uh, Dr. Nipa, she came up with an excellent idea. She made a mask uh, matching to her dress, uh, which is having a pocket here. Uh, into this pocket, we can insert a, a tissue paper, disposable tissue paper in four fold. So the cotton 24 hours, uh, tissue paper within three hours. Uh, so let us see now her mask. Looks like a family of scientists. Sir. <laughs> so now see this mask is so good that uh, you can reuse uh, as many times as you want and uh, the flame doesn't die and after every day in the evening you just discard the tissue paper into your biological waste and the mask would go into the washing and uh, because we know that we have to continue in lockdown till the Diwali we have even started uh, getting our shirts uh, shown with the mask having that pocket uh, appropriately matching for the shirt 
and uh, she and my wife have already started making mask for navratri festival also and diwali festival also and then i started working with the central salt once again because they have something which is very nice you know this is a plastic which is breathable plastic now this plastic allows the carbon dioxide uh, oxygen and water vapor to pass through but nothing else to pass through this is used for creating the greenhouse so that the plants inside will receive the water vapor they will receive carbon dioxide emit carbon dioxide and oxygen so the breathing of the plant will not be affected but nothing else can enter no insects nothing no virus so then i asked dr kanan why can't we make a mask out of this then it becomes a transparent mask so agar transparent mask jo ban jata hai isse to fir apna identity bhi khula rehta hai you don't have to no search who is behind uh, till he speaks so my wife says the smile and lipstick to dikhna hi chahiye to aap kaisa bhi karo transparent mask bana ho hum log aajkal iske piche pade hue hain making a transparent mask and uh, then this is another little uh, innovation which is designed uh, or rather suggested by my sister and we got it made from one plastic manufacturer locally a shield between and the patients relatives and uh, doctors this could be very helpful for the general practitioners for the skin specialists for those who come uh, who have smaller table you know nowadays you have to have a table which is one or one and a half meter wide so the patient cannot come closer to you less than a meter but those who have small tables they can use a shield uh, like this and uh, then i thought if i can make an excimer laser at home uh, why can't i make uh, a ventilator at home so she is my another sister chandrika she is an anesthetist and uh, she has been trained for covid and she is in charge of the covid ward of bhavnagar uh, medical college so i went to her and i understood everything about the ventilator and uh, he is dr nimbak is the professor and uh, dean of the engineering college here in bhavnagar and he is the assistant professor uh, i am sorry i forgot his name he is under him so four of us together we did a lot of brainstorming and uh, we thought ki agar bahut patient aa gaye aur koi emergency khadi ho gayi sarkar ke liye ventilator kam pad gaye to kya karenge and since she is an anesthetist herself she gave me few ideas and we implemented that and we show you here we made an uh, simple um a ventilator from the wood uh, using the motor from uh, take uh, taken out from a car with this is the windshield wiper motor which can oscillate back and forth wipe uh, you know wiper go back and forth this is like thing and uh, there is a cam wood here which uh, presses the ambu bag and all the monitoring and all the electronics can be done by the multi para monitor we don't need to integrate the monitoring with this this just works to induce the proper vital volume injecting at a rate and at a frequency and at a vital volume which you desire so you know uh, even in this one and a half uh, months time i was never at home i was never idle uh, sitting i was writing books and doing all this research and uh, however i it, it seems to me from the way of living is going that even we might have to do a diwali at home so Uh, stay home and stay safe because the world is beautiful and we don't want to lose uh, the view of this beautiful world and uh, never stop uh, learning and uh, ever stop learning these are the two messages which i have learned in my life uh, from my gurus and uh, thank you very much for that uh, and uh, i'll conclude with one shayari which i have written kafi dilo kafi dil aise hote college ke samay mein milte hain जिनके आज वो पांच छह ताले लगे हुए होते हैं <laughs> और इनके लिए लिखा है ये कि हमने शब्दों को सैनिटाइज किए हैं और कविता को किया है क्वारंटाइन हमने शब्दों को सैनिटाइज किए हैं कविता को किया है क्वारंटाइन और प्रेम संक्रमण फैले नहीं आज इसलिए क्योंकि मुझे मालूम है कि काफी उनमें से जो लोग होंगे वो लेक्चर सुन रहे होंगे प्रेम संक्रमण फैले नहीं आज इसलिए लागनी को किया है लॉकडाउन Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mukesh, and wishing you all very happy 2020. Uh, what a matter, sir! And uh, <laughs> uh, wishing you not only happy, but wishing you all, uh, and wishing us all rather, COVID-19 uh, free. And if the government, if the ICMR allows my 222 UV, allows me and Dr. Ramesh to use that 222, we can make India free from COVID before Diwali for sure. 
that is that much conviction we have on our device thank you very much i i hope it uh, comes true sir and uh, somebody is uh, should be listening and uh,